Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Hitman Boxing. So I was having trouble looking for stuff to talk about today when I came across this video with Errol Spence. And in that video, they asked Errol Spence about Troy King and some of his comments he made about Errol Spence. Now, if you don't know Troy King, you can find him on YouTube. YouTube, his name, you'll find him. Uh, he provides a lot of good boxing commentary. Uh, he's a professional boxer. I think he's been pro for about three years. He got eight fights, five knockouts. But, you know, I listen to what he's got to say because he's funny. You know what I'm saying? He's funny, and um, he seems to know a lot about boxing and, and technique and, and, and whatnot. So I listen to him, and I kind of like, you know, what he says is pretty accurate. So I take him at face value. But funny thing, you know, when Errol Spence beat Kell Brook, he was talking mad shit about Errol Spence, man. He was uh, <laughs> he was saying the only reason why Errol Spence won is because his eye got messed up. Other than that, if his eye wouldn't have got messed up, then Kell Brook would have won the fight against Errol Spence. Well, no shit. But guess why his eye got fucked up? Because that shit got tagged by Spence and that power, right? So you can't say, oh, well. Only reason why Spence won because Kell Brook, I was swollen. Well, that shit was swollen for a reason. Because he was getting worked. And, you know, he also said that Errol Spence didn't win around in a fight. And come on, man. That's, I don't know. It sounded like he was coming off as a hater, in my opinion. But, anyway, Errol Spence said that he'll gladly spar Troy Williams. He said he'll go to California to show him that he ain't no one-trick pony. Now, I would love to see that. I would love to see these two dudes spar. If I'm not mistaken, Troy King is campaigning at middleweight. No, 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 no. He's, he's at 154. My bad. Uh, he's a 154-pounder. You know, he was saying a lot of shit about Errol Spence. He don't move his head. Yada, yada, yada. We, well, shit we all know. But you know what? It don't really matter because he won in fights. He walked through Kell Brook and he beat Kell Brook. Regardless of how any of those rounds went. It doesn't matter. Because he stopped Kell Brook. Just like he'll stop Keith Thurman when he fights him, too. Troy King think Keith Thurman could beat Errol Spence. I don't believe that at all. But, you know, he brought up some valid points. But, you know, in this case, I don't believe that shit. All right? Now, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure Troy King will not back down from this sort of challenge. Because I know he's trying to get work in. He sparred a lot of good opponents. I think he sparred, uh, I think he mentioned, like, Amir Khan and... Um, who else has he sparred? I can't think of the names of the people he sparred, but it's, it's been some good opponents. Troy King's a funny dude, but, you know, if he spar Errol Spence, I think Errol Spence will leave him sunny side up, as Troy King say. You're going to put that garlic butter on you. <laughs> You're going to put that garlic butter on you for real. Like, this ain't no game. And, you know, I think Errol Spence took them comments she made a little personal because when they asked him about Troy King, he's, he got very serious real quick. So, hopefully they can... uh. Hopefully they can spar, you know, get that shit on footage because I love to watch it. I love to hear about it, you know. Make sure you wear that headgear, though. You know, you don't want that eye popping out the socket. Because we know you got that, what was that, detached retina, right? That shit fucked up, man. You know, eye injuries are, are bad for the sport of boxing, man, because them shits could get re-aggravated. And, and, you know, the fact that you got an eye injury so early in your career, man, that's not a good look, man. But, um, you know, I like Troy King, though, man. It's, it's not a hate video. You know, I, I would love to see Troy King, um, you know, get signed by like Al Heyman or, you know, one of these these big promotional companies or one of these big promoters. I would love to see that because, you know, he seems like he's very technically sound, at least from how he talks and shit. So, I mean, I'm a fan of Troy King, but, you know, I didn't like what he was saying about Errol Spence because it sounded like he was hating, man. He was hating hard as fuck. He was like, hating hard to hit man boxing, man. And, you know, I'd be hating on motherfuckers hard. Well, really, it's a combination of me telling the truth. And, you know, making that shit more than what it really is. But y'all love it anyway, so it don't matter. But, uh, <laughs> hey, I'll pay to see this sparring match. I'll pay to see that shit. Y'all should stream that shit live. Put that shit on YouTube. Troy King got a big name on YouTube, believe it or not. Make a video with Troy King naming it. That shit will pop off. Promise you that. But, um, hopefully this video pops off. Hopefully Troy hear this video. You know, I've been commenting on your, your, uh, your live videos, man. But, um... Yeah, I want to see you spar him. I really want to see that shit. I think Errol Spence beat the fuck out of you, to be honest with you. I think he'll beat the fuck out of you. I want to see if Troy King can, you know, translate everything that he's saying, 
into easy work into the ring. You know what I mean? Like, he has a real good grasp of the technical aspect of boxing. And just some of the shit he does. I've seen his fights, you know. But, like I said, he got eight fights, five knockouts. Clearly, he's got power. Um, you know, sparring's obviously different from, you know, an actual sanctioned fight. But I think Errol Spence be going hard in sparring, man. And Troy King need to be on his A game if that shit happen. But I will put some money in a motherfucker's GoFundMe account right now if we can set that shit up. Set that shit up right now. Make some videos about this shit if you're listening. Damn. But look up Troy King. I ain't gonna. I, I don't name drop um, other channels, but go ahead, go to the go to YouTube and find Troy King, man. It's easy. Um, let me know what y'all think about. Errol Spence calling out Troy King. Because Troy King been talking mad shit about Spence. Mad shit. But that's the nature of the game. And I was just about... To, I was just making a video about Errol Spence until I saw this shit. I had, I had to comment on this, man. So leave a comment. Like the video. Subscribe. Don't. It really don't matter, man. If you fuck with me, you're going to do what I ask. Because I'm going to keep dropping that heat. Hitman Boxing. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be. Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams. I've been feeling all alone lately. Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby. When I came up out the womb, everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream. Leading to endless roads. I want to be free from this. <clears throat> I had a suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin is playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time though, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me like an endless dream leading to endless roads i want to be free from this army of clouds
underrated. You niggas steady, ignoring greatness. A call bearer, what you need when I come undertake it. This hostage take over by the chill hover. I got the blueprints, I really do this, so move on over. Stay in your lane, nigga, stay in your lane. You steady running at the guns, but fucking suck at the game. Ain't it a shame? It really is. My words invoke fear. I teach you lessons that I had you breaking down in tears. Call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat. Chaining up the doors, I'm spelling all these niggas from rap. Cause they kill your brain cells, son. How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you. And then repeating, but tis the season for chill wage. I bring about change. But not Obama, cause this nation I will never claim. I got my sights aimed at the top spot on the chop block.